legendary diva, uh, Diana Rose, made a shocking appearance at Beyonce's Renaissance concert. Now, the two were really, really having fun together on stage, and it was a memorable day uh, that people said it was absolutely, of course, a night to remember. Well, we'll get to uh, some versions very soon, but this is the literally helping accident. That reminds me, uh, belated birthday to the Queen, uh, Queen Bee, and of course, a lot of people have taken to social media to also wish her a happy birthday. Now, who is the one uh, that's making headlines out aside, uh, you know, Diana Rose? Well, Matthew Noah, who happens to be uh, Beyonce's father. Now, he has spend some emotional uh, message as a birthday wish to uh, you know the daughter will get into the details of this but for now please take some few seconds of your time to go like our platform just in case you haven't it's very important uh, that you get yourself abreast with the latest from the world of art entertainment here on this platform because we've got great content for you so let's get into the details of this story now, Beyonce's uh, Renaissance concert, you know, still is ongoing till October 1. Now, this year's, uh, you know, event, I mean, this particular year, um, uh, some weeks ago, a few days ago, I should say, uh, was her birthday. Now, people made surprising appearances on stage, but one person, I uh, know, whose appearance shocked and even uh, made Beyonce very, very, I mean, act like a child because she was super elated, uh, you know, uh, to have met this personality. I'm talking about none other uh, than Diana Rose was something. Uh, that maybe have said that it's absolutely beautiful and can never, I know, be re uh, I mean, erased from the history I know of Beyonce's career. Well, without wasting much time and doing so much of talking, let's actually get you uh, the video between Beyonce and Diana Ross. So come back and see what's or who is next uh, trending after Beyonce's, I uh, know, uh, iconic meetup with Diana Rose. Check this out. <laughs> memorable uh, you know experience over there between the queen uh to another queen uh well i don't know but it's such a very lovely thing to see but uh yeah so diana rose officially making an appearance on beyonce's uh, you know platform it was her birthday anyway so belated birthday uh you know to the queen uh yes i'm sure this is the biggest birthday present i know you've ever had in your entire life having an iconic singer now uh, like diana rose uh you know appear uh you know on your platform 
to celebrate you is something that you, I'm sure you never take for granted. Meanwhile, I know Beyonce's father has uh, something for uh, the daughter. Let's really put some, you know, uh, of his words on your screen to see exactly why he's trending. Now, he's spent down something very emotional here. Let's get into it very shortly. Now, this is what he said. He said, uh, Beyonce, you came into this world with big dreams, dreams that were larger than life itself. In fact, ever since you were a young child, you knew deep within uh, that the impact you were making, the people you are inspiring, the music you were creating today was never a matter of chance, but always a matter of time. I've had the pleasure of watching you perform throughout the world during the Renaissance Dawn. On top of watching your incredible talent displayed in full face of stage, on stage, I also see each show bringing uh, people together from uh, all creeds, backgrounds, races, ages, and identities. It's an incredible sight witnessing complete strangers talk, dance, laugh, and celebrate together at each show with no judgment, just love. Beyonce, you've given the world more than a concert. You have started a movement. Today is your day to dance, laugh, and celebrate. Dance to the music that has brightened the whole world. Oh, I'm getting very emotional right now. It goes on to say, uh, laugh with the amazing people around you. Celebrate the lives you have touched, the impact you've made, and the amazing person that you are. Happy birthday, my daughter. And this is coming from Beyonce's father. Uh, you know, Ooh, very touching, I must say. Now, I feel like I'm... <laughs> I mean, this is very emotional, I must say. So, um, uh, you know, Matthew Noah is also, uh, you know, doing something very interesting on social media now. He's trending after this emotional post. However, we didn't see Mama T posting anything. Did anyone see Tina? I haven't seen Tina's post anyway. It's, it's you know, um, you know, Matthew's tweet that's trending. That's because it carries so much emotions here. I like Mama Tina. It's, I mean, if anyone has seen Mama T, I'm talking about Beyonce's mom, uh, Tina Noah's post, please kindly let me, let, me, let me see it so I can also report on it. But for now, who is trending aside, uh, you know, uh, Diana Rose is that Matthew uh, who penned out. Uh, I really want to read this again, but we'll check out the video, uh, you know, once again between Beyonce and Diana Rose. Um, then we come back and see some reactions. Maybe I will be a bit cool because now I'm getting very emotional after this tweet. So let's check out the video once again. Social media have been reacting to this, uh, you know, iconic mix between Beyonce and Diana Rose. So let's get into uh, some reactions shortly before maybe uh, we can see how to proceed. Now, this one says that so beautiful, uh, you know, from one queen to another. Well, yes, from uh, Queen uh, D, I'm talking about Diana Rose to Queen B. Wow, I mean, that's that's nice. From Queen D to Queen B. Yes, so that's between Queen Diana and Queen Beyonce. Now, moving on, this one also comes to say Beyonce uh, was like a little kid running to see her favorite artist in the world. Uh, she is very humble and very appreciative to those whom uh, lay the bloom 
uh, print for others. Yes, legendary Diana Rose uh, in the building to show love, love to Beyonce uh, for her birthday. Can't get no better than this. Well, trust me, it was really a memorable day. Looking at her, how I uh, you know Beyonce was running, I mean, it reminds me of how she was very little, you know, as if I was there when she was, you know, but anyways, I mean, whether or not I wasn't there or something, I mean, she looked like a little girl uh, who, of course, has found uh, you know, someone she adores. And so, yeah. <laughs> then Eunice comes to see that uh, what a special and beautiful moment. Well, it is. Uh, honestly, uh, I must say it, it is. And finally, I can do some few Claudia comes to see beautiful uh, to icons. Yes, indeed. Um, finally, I'll do this one coming in from Jerkins. Jerkins said, wait till Taylor. Oh, my goodness. No, I'm not going to read this. I'm sorry. Like, really? <laughs> What does Taylor Swift have to do with this? Anyways, uh, this order the curtain. Uh, and of course, if you haven't wished Beyonce a happy birthday, just please take this uh, final opportunity to, of course, wish her a happy birthday because she's done so well. This is what we're the curtain on today's episode. Thanks for watching.